Hey guys! So, today we are going to answer the question When do you use requires and when do you use imports in JavaScript? So let's get into it. Now, as you can imagine, this is a subscriber question and it might be a little bit confusing because we're in this mo magical moment or this period of time where we are transitioning from one way of doing things over to another way of doing things. And basically, the short answer to this question is that requires are what is native to, well, basically to Node and the bundlers out there. Using the requ uh, require is the supported, the officially supported way of doing things. But what's this import thing then? Well, in TypeScript, import is pretty much the way you do it as an example but it's also possible for you to use a tool such as babel to support imports and basically what's going to happen is that you can now use the import syntax as you would in any javascript module and it will basically transpile it over to a require or that's basically what's going to happen under the hood and the reason why people do this is because they have well, basically, they have the idea that if they use the imports right now, because it's going to be the standard, it's already decided it's going to be the next thing, right? Then they might as well use, because they're most likely using Babel already for some other transpilation, right? So they're thinking that, all right, makes sense, right? It's going to be the next thing. And when it's actually fully supported in the environments that you run your JavaScript, you will simply remove the transpilation part of that handles the imports in Babel. And that's it, right? Now, the way that I think about this is a little bit different. And basically the way that I think about it is that I question very much so the logic and the reasoning behind using imports in an environment where it's not supported. I mean, if you are using TypeScript, that's the way you should do it. No question. That's, you should favor it because it's fully supported with when you're compiling TypeScript. That's the way it's meant to be used, right? But if you are adding something like Babel in order to be able to write a syntax that is not supported, you're causing yourself uh, what I like to call upfront problems. You see, if you're using, if you use requires, which is, as I said, the thing that will immediately run, if you take a JavaScript file and you use requires and you run that through Node or any bundler without anything else, it's going to work immediately. But in order for you to use imports, you need to actually have that transpilation step, at least for now. It may change in the future, but that's how it works now. So my question is, why do you want to add that extra complexity for the benefit of something that's going to come in the future? Because think about it imports and requires and all this stuff i mean even if you were to simply use requires and save yourself that extra overhead work of transpiling your code what's the problem i mean i the, if you were to save yourself doing this and the day comes when everything is supported for imports i mean it's going to be backwards compatible for quite a while and replace changing from requires to import is as easy as doing a string search and replace on your project it will at most take you say a day if even that to do that depending on the size of the project of course so for me it's kind of it's a little bit too eager and I encourage people to have the mindset that using a require, unless, as I said, unless you are already using Babel and for some reason you still think that there's a need of using import. There is one good one which a lot of people will argue about, which is tree shaking. Now tree shaking needs static imports in order for, for it to properly work. The problem that I see with that is that, which I think is kind of funny, I can see people come to, and they come to me and they show me, you know, all right, we've enabled tree shaking. And then they use destructuring on their various libraries in order to pull out the components that they actually want or the code that they actually want from, from the library. And I go, that's great. And then I run their 
uh, run the code through an, an like an uh, a profiling tool that shows me what's actually included in the bundles and i can see very clearly that the tree shaking hasn't worked correctly because of various reasons because the thing is guys just because you're using imports and just because you've enabled tree shaking doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work with every package you have there are pl plenty of packages out there where you will simply not be able to leverage tree shaking it's a very complicated feature and the way that I'm, and you know i usually show my co-workers in this case it's in this case it's been my co-workers i've shown them that it's as you see it doesn't work and the only really truly safe way to make sure that you're only importing the things that you truly truly need is to actually use the like actually do an, an indexing into the module that you are requiring and in order for that to work you basically have to require the package that you want and slash put a slash after that and require the specific file that you are looking for that's the the foolproof way of doing this and tree shaking, although it's powerful and it's very useful, should be thought as a fallback. It's an extra layer to guarantee that you can shim down, sh you know, shim away, or like basically get a even lower amount of code than, you know, just basically getting the stuff that you need right. But it shouldn't be this uh, one or the other. You shouldn't do both, if you if you ask me. So what I want you to take away from this is that. If you are only running in vanilla, like if you just want to run everything as is without any extra tools like Babel or anything like that, then requires are the way to go. And I would even I would even go one further and I would uh, say if you're only using Babel to use imports and you're not using React or anything else, I would say just kind of skip that and go with requires. But if you are actually using Babel and you're already using import, you can absolutely use them. They're, most of the large projects use the syntax. And although you are, but remember, although you are using imports and maybe using tree shaking, remember to really check that the stuff that you are destructuring out or the stuff that you're pulling into your code is actually being correctly excluded like or rather the stuff that you don't need is being correctly excluded because you might actually find that you think that it's being excluded but it's actually not have a great day